Well, those are details that happen in a, in a tight game. I thought we had done an excellent job. You know, uh, showed a lot of character coming back from uh, from being down two zip and and got a lot of momentum on our side and and we're still playing pretty hard. Uh, and then it comes down to stretch. Obviously, I thought we had they they were tired. They had been on the ice for a long time and and you got to manage the puck and and you know small details make a big difference. You, you got to. Uh, a couple icings and then next thing you know face-offs in your zone and uh, but you've got to learn from these mistakes I, I told the guys after I was you know proud of the effort and the way we competed and came back and and, and uh, got ourselves the lead and uh, we've got to find a way to capitalize on our chances I thought we had a lot of looks where we we usually finish at, at, key, at key moments even to score that fourth goal and uh, we we couldn't we couldn't really get it past them and that's where that's what we got to focus on is when we do have the momentum we didn't take a seat back we continued to press and creating chances and uh, most nights we're going to score goals in, in those situations yeah you, you got to stay resilient and you got to stay and, and and do little things right and I thought our play at their net was really good they're a team that protects the front of their net they go extremely hard uh, they're always on the line of taking penalties and really, uh, you know, kind of a lot of cross check. A lot of guys are have to, to battle to fight for space, and it's a lot. It's a lot like the way it's going to be in playoffs. So, I thought our guys really worked hard at getting at the net. I thought we had some long shift where we had uh, puck possession in, in the zone and and you know kept the pressure on. And uh, for us, we. That's what we got to learn from. We we got to do that. Then it's it's our D's job to find ways to to, to get pucks by them because they, they block a lot of shots. Uh, we're hoping for a different uh, result at the end, but yeah, we'll take the point. Um, well, we're super we're super tight as a group. Uh, we're we we love each other. We 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 sacrifice our body for each other on the ice. And uh, so, yeah, we, we have a good uh, chemistry out there. Yeah, we, we like our group. So, uh, I mean, if there's some moves, there's some moves, but yeah, we're happy. Well, he's, he's an experienced coach. Uh, his team is ready. Uh, you know, they always have good face-offs. Uh, they had a few face-offs tonight. We did a few of our own. We scored uh, on a couple plays that we, uh, you know, we had drawn and, and uh, they, they got some chances off on their side, and it seems to be that way every time we play each other. Uh, obviously, we'd like to come back to be on the winning side, especially at home. I thought our fans were great. It, it, it's, it was a very exciting to, to, to see uh, so many fans in the building. I thought our guys were excited about it, were not nervous. I thought we came out and, and played hard. And uh, that's what we, that's what you want. We, we still, you know, especially with uh, Easton Schlender right now, we've got three 16-year-old, probably four 16-year-old with uh, uh, Sebastian Glass that just turned 17 a week ago in December. So we've got a young team right now uh, with our guys at the World Championship. It's great opportunities for these guys to uh, learn and to get better. Yeah, well, you know what? You, you look down the, the bench and, and after, you know, we get uh, a Connor who goes back in the middle and then when you look down your, your wingers, OJ is going to be one and then they're, it's going to be young guys, so that's what that's what these guys are here for. They've done well and they've earned their their chance to play. And uh, for us, it's 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 developing for the future, but it's also winning winning now.